Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel part 24, shaping part 2. In today's episode, we reviewed what had happened since last time. We had listened to the seven part composition. We actually wrote a sonnet this morning that accompanies the composition and we went through that sonnet and we re-looked at our energy chart yep, 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 over here which has seven parts as we've shown before and we re-watched some music visualizations so we feel pretty happy about the composition to date as it is we're not really sure where to go next with it are we done or do you want to extend it so then the idea of adding the words popped up, the sonnet over here, and the idea of adding images to the whole composition. So we set out to match words to song, and we did that. We matched each line of the sonnet to a bar number in the song. Somewhere we did that. Let's find that for you. Here it is. So for example, let's bring up the score. How brightly shines the sun. Bang. And then later on, we come down to two, uh, 287. We're not going to do this all the way through, but we just want to illustrate the key points here. It's a long score. So in calm repose begins at 287. There it says in calm repose. So every line of this sonnet corresponds to a bar in the in the score and what that does is it lets us match the lyric to a timeline in an animation then we look at a MIDI animation of what we've already done to date and that looks like this for example We looked at two ways. This is colored by pitch, and the other one is pitched or colored by part. And we like the coloring by pitch because it really shows off some of the other structure way down over here. This one in particular, where, where we have a nine note scale and you're running up and down it. So there's some attractive features to the MIDI animation that we might want to use where it kind of shows off the structure of what's happening between the staves uh, on this side. So we did that. We made some new shapes for the, the tool, which is called Magic Music Visualization, and we made a still animation. And this is what it looks like um, here. We, we used the sun shape to make the sun. We used two cl a cloud shape and copied it twice. And we used a lightning bolt for some reason and made the ground. And then we imported the text of the sonnet over here. And um, what we have done simplistically for now is simply make the, uh, the text shimmer. And we were showing you a little bit of that when we came in and started the recap. So that kind of leads us to what are our next steps. And remember, the big idea, let's go back to this. The key idea is to cycle between sound, words, and, and images. And that gives us further ideas for how to shape the overall composition. But then we realized we also would like to make a triple expression here. We'd like to have the songs and these words and, and these images go together in a visual 
aural animation. So that's kind of where we're going. So uh, what we can do is probably, let's just jump to the end here. Just for the last few seconds of this. That's down here at the bottom. So thank you for your time, attention, interest, curiosity. Look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always, keep on streaming.